Hi, fifth graders. So this week, you get to be food scientists. We're going to use our knowledge about dissolving and solubility to create our own salad dressing. So you might notice I have a whole bunch of ingredients over here. I'm going to just explain them really quickly, the ones that we're going to be needing. Now, to start off, I'm not going to use in my recipe um, olive oil, extra virgin olive oil and lemon. Oh my goodness, so good. But I will tell you, these alone, with a little bit of salt and pepper, you know, seasoning to taste, as we say, um, this alone could be your salad dressing. As a matter of fact, one of the uh, chefs I love to listen to on Food Network, Giada De Laurentiis, often will say, just using a squeeze of some lemon juice for the acidity, and then the olive oil to balance it out, whisking it together with some salt and pepper, a very healthy, um, light flavored salad dressing. So I'm not using this one today, but this alone could be a recipe, okay? See how simple that was? Some oils taste better in salad dressing than others. Today for my recipe, well, it's really not my recipe. I got the idea from Bobby Flay, also on Food Network. I'm gonna be using good old canola oil. I'm not using vegetable oil, even though a lot of people use that for cooking. Um, I find it a little too heavy for a salad dressing. So canola oil, not so, not something that you have to really cook in order to enjoy. Okay, so there's that. I'm also going to be using something that is so healthy for you. Oh my goodness, I should just like, just kidding. It's apple cider vinegar, okay? He has, my son is over in the background and he also is drinking some of that with water. Um, it can be very hard on the stomach, so you have to be careful how much you use, okay? Um, but it is so good for you, okay? All right, like a natural antibiotic. Oh, this is for my salad. I won't talk about that yet. Um, and then some flavorings, right? I have my kosher salt, salt, and then I have pe pepper, black pepper. Um, and then you might remember if you read in the emulsifying section of our, um, of our handbook of food ingredients, you might notice that mustard powder is an emulsifier, meaning it holds together the oil and the um, acids it, of, I'm sorry, of vinegar. It holds oil and vinegar together. That's good. I don't have mustard powder, but I do have good old fashioned mustard. This is actually a special kind of mustard. It's called Dijon mustard. It has other flavorings, but it's really good in salad dressing, okay? So those are my basic things. And then there's one other thing that I forgot and I can grab it, but it's basically honey. You have to be careful with honey, but it sweetens things up and it cuts through the acidity. So to start off, you're going to want to measure, you guys know the difference between a chef and a baker? Well, do you? Bakers actually measure everything. They have to be very precise. Chefs usually tend to eyeball things a little bit. I'm gonna eyeball a little bit today, but you're still learning, so I'm gonna also try to measure, all right? So I'm going to start with a tablespoon of mustard. Don't go too heavy on the mustard. And you probably should shake it before you, to, before you um, put it in there. So there's my mustard. You might think, oh, it's not that much, Mrs. Babin. It actually, really goes a long way and it's kind of salty so you have to be careful when you're putting in mustard i could put more uh, maybe i will maybe i'll just put a little squirt more so now i'm going into like the two tablespoon zone not even a full second tablespoon because some of it's getting stuck on my spoon okay so there's that then there's honey which i don't have so i'm going to go to the apple cider part Apple cider vinegar, super healthy again. I would match, maybe not match. I'm just gonna do one tablespoon. I know there's some mustard still on there. I know I'm not perfect here, but okay. This, like I said, very strong. So you have two acidic things here, right? You have your apple cider vinegar, which is totally acidic. And then you have, oh, the smell just went up my nose, woo! And then um, the Dijon mustard, also kind of acidic, all right? So, but also an emulsifying agent. So I'm gonna close those up. I'm gonna run and get my honey, and I'll be right back. I love honey. <laughs> so I brought my honey and my honey. 
This is my son, Kevin. Say hi, Kevin. Hi. Hi. Okay, so honey, pour some honey. Okay, so open it up. Now, honey is something you really, um, <laughs> it's sugar. So you don't want to overdo it ever. Um, when I say eyeball it, okay, a little drizzle. Because too much of this, you know, is not really good. You don't want to spike your body's blood sugar when you're eating your salad dressing. But it really does seem to like cut through the acidity. Now we add the oil last. Why do we do that? Because. Oh, you know? Because uh, we put some oil. Oil is very good to you. But if you eat too much oil, you will absolutely get a stomach ache. Oh, for sure. And also it's a lot of calories. But also for the sake of a salad dressing, it's because, oh, I forgot to put in the seasoning. Um, it's because it helps to emulsify when you're ready to whisk it in. It's better for whisking in oil instead of starting with oil and then dropping in all the ingredients after. It just gets clumpy and nasty and harder to like, you know, break down. So I have, I'm gonna do the salt. The salt is a ve not a toy, okay? Salt, you could always add more, my husband likes to say, but you can't take it out. I mean, you kind of can, but that's really hard to do. So careful with the salt. Measuring salt, if I were gonna do that, I would even start with a quarter teaspoon, but I'm gonna eyeball it, okay? You probably don't even need that much, believe it or not. Because why? Because the mustard has salt. So there's my little shik, 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 shik. And now I just got a, like a pepper shaker at the supermarket and I just love the way these things sound. Ugh, should have opened this before the video. Okay. You hear that? Could I do that? No. It's more fun. I'll do it. <laughs> no, I know because you're gonna enjoy it too much and then we're gonna have like a really, really spicy salad dressing. <laughs> don't want that. Okay, it's going up my nose. I feel the spice. Now for the oil, okay? Oh, I already okay. poured it. Now, I actually started off with a half a cup of oil. I don't know if you can see that because this is like, this is older than me, this this measuring cup. I, it's like a family heirloom at this point. No, this so, is young No, see, it's, it's oil. See oh. how big my mom is? Okay. My mom is <laughs> hey, I will have to cut this video this if you say anything embarrassing. Cup. Okay, pour it in slowly. Okay. So I start with whisking already. I got a whisk. Hey, huh? Make a whisk. Okay, so... Slowly, 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 slowly. Now, if you don't have a whisk, I guess a spoon would work. Now, you might say, Ms. Bateman, wow, it looks like super oily. And you're right, it does kind of look super oily. Maybe half a cup was too much, but... Can I mix this too? No. As I'm mixing it and making all this kind of noise, that's the part where now you're going to have to taste it. I know, it's so weird to taste things when they're not like you know, totally done, but you just gotta do it. If you're the one making the food, making you're the, you're the one making salad for the family, sorry, you gotta taste it. Now, look guys, it's totally emulsified. I mean, mommy, it, it just, it's just, it's, I mommy, wish you could see that. I mean, long let me ago, use a spoon. Mommy, long ago, they used to say a David was watching. I think another David is watching. No, this is not a video about then, David. Although I think there's a David in the audience. Okay, look at that. So it say almost, hello, David. Hi, David, if there's a David out there. Hi, David. Um, okay, so we have some of the clumps are still in there, not totally dissolved. Like, for example, the pepper, not totally dissolved. But in a salad dressing, sometimes the sediments do sit around. Now, one quick tip I got from Bobby Flay for your salad. I'm going to show you how I would plate up a salad. Okay. He suggests taking taking the salad dressing and then just like kind of like smearing it around the sides okay, of the bowl. Could I do that? No, I'll do it. You could do it later. Right now and I just want to do it. So more do that. fun doing I'll, You know what you can do? I, I know what you can do. You can be the guy who puts in my lettuce. Can you do that? So I just happened to have some lettuce left over from last night's dinner. Did you just wipe your nose? I don't think I like that. So I'm just going to pour it in instead. Why? Because, woo, woo. <laughs> so we so, on the floor. Yeah, well, we're not going to eat that one. Mommy, did you talk about apple cider bagel? I did. Here's the thing, guys. 
with the lettuce, oh, I'm sorry, with the dressing all around the side of the bowl. Now, when you go to um, toss your lettuce in that, everything gets a little gentle, just a gentle kiss, a gentle hint of the dressing. And you can top it with some extra things it's like craisins. We like craisins. They're kind of like raisins. They rhyme with raisins, but they're craisins. Craisins, raisins. Yeah. And then um, toasted pecans. And can I do some of that? If you have some blue can cheese. Can I do some of that? Mm, too? No. Um, <laughs> and then if you have, do you want? Can you tell them what this is? Uh, it's an apple. It's actually a Fuji apple. Or is it a gala? I get those mixed up. Anyway, a little bit of a crunch in there. Now you have some salad now. And if you have blue cheese dressing, uh, not blue cheese dressing, sorry, blue cheese, it's crumbled on the top, now you have a Waldorf salad. Guys, it is so good. Your family will say thank you. Mm. Let me just take one more bite so I can tell you how it tastes. Mmm. A hint of the honey, not too overpowering with the acidity of the apple cider vinegar, but I know I'm eating something healthy. That's what you want. So I can't wait to hear, mm, I'm spitting, sorry. Can't wait to hear your recipes. Show them to me, send them to me. I love it. Okay guys, we like salad, bye.